Hello friends, welcome back to our series Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are going to discuss a topic called independence which comes under the probability theory. Uh, friends, uh, please excuse me if you see any glitches in this video because I am traveling and didn't carry my laptop. So I am using my iPad to record this session. Alright, so uh, remember we were discussing a probability concept that if I am traveling from say point A to point B and say this is happening in Mumbai in India and I call this event as E1 then what is my probability that I will go from A to B within 45 minutes right and this is happening in Mumbai and say another event is it is raining in Pune another different city in India and the probability of this happening is say E2. Now uh, understand this uh, technically if it is raining in a different city so it should not affect my um, commute from A to B in another city. So I can write this same expression in terms of probability something like this probability of E1 given it is raining in another city should not impact my, the, my probability to, to reach from A to B within 45 minutes. So basically it should remain like this as is, right. Now from also from conditional probability we know that the first, uh, the left hand side of the expression can be written as P of E1 intersection E2 divided by probability of E2, right. We have already seen all this concept and this is equivalent to the right hand side. So basically this can be written as probability of E1 intersection E2 and if they are independent events they are nothing but the products of their individual probability times E2 alright. If there were like more events say E3, E4, E5. So for example if there were like another event E3 in that case it would be just a product multiplication of that individual probability of E3 given they are all independent events. So uh, this concept we are going to pretty much use many times in our machine learning course and it's very simple concept but then it also gives us a very important tool that if they are independent events then uh, what we can do is we can simply multiply the product of their individual probability of occurrence. Alright, so I hope you have learned something new today and please subscribe to our channel and tomorrow we are going to bring you more content and interesting uh, topics. Till then, have a great day.